Hi, welcome to GP.NET Tutorials. My name is Bahrudin and this is the lesson 5 of GP.NET Tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to see how to save wall project on disk, how to open it again, and how to create more than one model within the same project. The lesson start from the previous lesson, so since the training process is still running, we can stop it whenever we want, or we can stop it when we decide the model is best for us. Go to the gp.net. As we can see, the process is still running, so press stop, and the training process is stopped. Now we want to create another model, so go to the project tree, change the number of rows for testing to 30 and press new model. Now we have another model within the same project. So name it as GP02 GP model 2 and press enter. Now we can switch from one to another model with mouse tips. So we, we can go to the parameters or we can go to the project and everything is working just fine. To the, for the new model, go to the function set and select one over X function. So this model will have function set defined of five functions. Go to the GP parameters and change the number of constants to 3. Also change the population size to 800. Now go to run page and press start training. When the training process is started, the model 3 item changed, changed its icon into different one so user can easily detect which model is training. Once we get good model we can stop training process and now we can save the project into file. So click on save command and name it and press save. Now we can also the close model by selecting close command and now the model disappeared from the gp.net. We can easily open it just by clicking the open and select file, click open and everything is the same as we say with few seconds ago. That's all for this lesson and in the next lesson we will see how to export model into Excel, R or Wolfram Mathematica.